Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how using Microsoft Word it's very easy to create your own table of contents automatically and also to be able to have that table of contents updated should you update the main text. In addition, the table of contents will allow you to quickly control jump to that particular section of your work. The first thing to do when you're creating a table of contents is to make sure that the section headers are formatted using the heading styles up here in the styles tab. So go to the home tab, find the styles section here, and what you want to do is use heading one, heading two, and heading three. Uh, a little like you would bullet levels. So section one here, my main category, my main topic, my main chapter would be the top heading, would be heading one. Subsections, subheadings, subtopics, subchapters, whatever they might be, uh, a level lower than that, you'd use heading two. And then a subtopic within that would be heading three. So if I click on section one here, which is just made using ordinary fonts, uh, the same font, same style as the rest of the text here. Just click anywhere in there and I'm going to click on Heading 1. The introduction is a subheading or subtopic, uh, so that's going to have Heading 2 formatting applied to it. Uh, and then I'm going to carry on down my text. Here's a, another subsection. Uh, that's the same level as the introduction here. So again, that is heading two. So it's the second order, second um, level, if you like. And then throughout the rest of the uh, document, I've already formatted all of my other subsections to heading two um, and my main categories or chapters as section one. So I've done that throughout the document. That's really important. Uh, because that is what will allow you to create the table of contents automatically. Now, because it may well be that you don't like the style uh, that's used here. You perhaps want to use your own style. That's absolutely fine. Uh, what I'm going to do here, in fact, is demonstrate how easy this is to do. I'm going to highlight this section one and uh, say I don't like this particularly. I'm going to increase the font size. I'm going to make it bold. Um, I'm going to choose a, a different font uh, completely here. Let's go for this one here. Um, that's a little bit blocky perhaps. Let's just try... Um, there we are. Let's try this Berlin Sol. Uh, so I've selected my font, font style. Uh, we can change the font color as well. Let's uh, change that to, to red here. Once I've decided, yes, that's how I'd like all my main categories, my main topics, my heading one um, styles to look. What I can do is highlight that and as it's already selected as heading one, I can simply come up to the heading one category here, right click on it and then choose this top option here, update heading one to match selection. That means that my heading one style now will always apply this effect to this style here. And if we scroll down through the document, you can see that in fact my other section ones, uh, my, my heading ones rather, uh, match. So throughout my document now, all my heading ones match the style I just chose. We can do the same thing for the heading two. So I click on this introduction here. You can see at the top the heading two um, section has been chosen. Uh, again, quickly, let's just change the font size and font styles. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Let's make it italic and bold. And let's change the font size to bright red. And then again, if I right click on heading two and I update heading two to match my selection, then now you can see at the top there, the style has been updated so that throughout my document now, all my uh, heading two titles are formatted like that. Uh, so there we are, we can see that we've used the heading one and the heading two throughout the document. So that's the first thing to do. Uh, the next is to insert the table of contents. Now I probably want this to be on a new page, its own page, so I'm going to click just before the first 
part of this document and head up to the insert tab and in, uh, click on page break. So I now have this new blank page here at the beginning of my document. So the next thing to do then is to um, insert the table of contents. So to do this, click on the references tab at the top there and right on the left hand side we have table of contents. Click on that. Um, you have some built-in styles here which uh, you can use. Uh, for the moment we'll just simply use this automatic table one, uh, sorry table two. So I simply click on that and there we are. That's all there is to it. The table of contents is now inserted into this document. Uh, you can change the font, uh, change the style of this, uh, have you like. I can choose uh, heading one and center align it. And the great thing with this, well, two great things, is one, uh, that it will be updated. As you add to your document on the right here, as you change the titles, as you add more text, um, this table of contents, if we click here, can be updated just by simply clicking on this update button. There we are. Uh, so that'll update all the uh, page numbers and these titles as well if you've changed them. And in addition to that, uh, you'll see that if I hover over any one of these uh, sections or subsections, that it's offering me that little control click to follow the link. So if I want to quickly jump to uh, section two, subsection three, I hold down the control button and then I simply click on that as though it were a hyperlink and that jumps straight to that section of my document. So that's all there is to it, uh, including a very smart, very easy to use and practical table of contents in a Microsoft Word document. I hope you found this uh, useful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and do consider subscribing so that you're first to know of new tips and handy help, uh, helpful tips which uh, you'll find useful. Uh, if you have any questions or suggestions, either about this video or future videos you'd like to see, please just leave a comment below and I will try to respond to all of those comments as best I can. So thank you again for watching. I'll see you in a future video.